we are doing a candid conversation series this summer called Wichita's Diverse History of Baseball. And we were supposed to do this last year when the wind surge was initially going to open, but COVID happened and so we're doing it this summer. And we're looking at Wichita's storied history of minority baseball. Uh, library staff did some research on a, an exhibition game that was played in 1925 where the Monrovians of the Colored Western League played the local Ku Klux Klan chapter in an exhibition game. And this game was played um, on Ackerman Island, which is no longer there. And the Monrovians won the game and it was a very well attended game, but it didn't get a lot of national coverage. And so library staff have teamed up with the Kansas African American Museum and uh, urban professionals and several other organizations, including Humanities Kansas, uh, to put on this Canon Conversation series. And we have about, I'd say about 10 virtual programs between us and the African American Museum, a museum exhibition. And then at the end of the summer, we're doing an exhibition game at League 42. Oh, really? That's really cool. Yeah. That's quite a thing to put together. My goodness. Has there been anything along the way with this program? I mean, I'm sure it's a lot of legwork and kind of stinks. It got, all got pushed back a bit. But um, anything that really surprised you when when you all are piecing all this together? Yeah, I mean, just the fact that a, such a game played right here in Wichita in the early 1920s is amazing to all of us. But we're not just focusing on the African-American aspect of minority baseball. We're also talking about the Mexican-American leagues as well. And we realized that a lot of um, Mexican-American teams popped up in railroad towns like Newton, and they played against each other as their form of entertainment between, you know, working and trying to, you know, make a living for their families. So it's really interesting how diverse baseball has been in our history and how it's still a really prominent thing in our you know lives today i mean everyone loves going to a baseball game whether you know baseball or not and so it's just really interesting to see how it has evolved over time how baseball has had a really interesting past especially right here in wichita first program is going to be really fun it's called the other boys of summer film and discussion and we're going to have emmy nominated director lauren meyer who did a film about uh, the civil rights aspect in America as related to minority baseball um, throughout history. And she'll actually be here to um, watch the screening with us virtually and then do a Q&A at the end. We'll also have Phil Dixon. He is a baseball historian and he's going to talk about the NBC World Series that started here in Wichita and how that led to baseball integration. That program's in July. Uh, we're going to have historian and author Raymond Olayes with the, um, he's going to talk about the Mexican-American baseball teams um, that I talked about with the uh, railroad teams that popped up. And then we're going to have a really cool performance towards the end of the series by Rochelle G. Coleman. Um, he's going to do something called Shadow Ball, and it's going to pay homage to um, the men who played in the Negro Baseball Leagues throughout history, um, Satchel Paige and others. And we're just excited to, I mean, you don't think of sports at the library, so it's really fun to be able to like talk sports and, you know, teach people something about our past. And we just think that's really cool.